Kuntanetex 211. Educating the youths through films. You know, muladam, <laughs> you know, like you look at the food, your saliva is dropping even before you even wash your hand. <laughs> and so as we make... Hi, what's up there? I'm Donny Tuomana. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, today we are having a former child soldier and a South Sudanese artist living in Canada, famously known as Emmanuel Jarl. If you want to laugh, learn, and get inspired, I advise you to watch the video to the end because this video is meant for you. And if you're new on this YouTube channel, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment, and you can as well share with your friends if you want to. Welcome, bro, Imawe. It's a pleasure having you today uh, on Zoom. Uh, let's get into the topic. I want to share a story of mine uh, that mm -hmm. gave me a lot of motivation. And also, I want to share three things that I did my research that are major setbacks in our lives. You are always on Red Gambit on every last Sunday of the month. Uh, what exactly is buying this? Mm -hmm. So basically, every last Sunday of the month, I wear red. Then, I don't eat breakfast and lunch, so I only eat dinner. Why? It's to remember where I come from, my struggle, my pain, and also to know that in this journey, I don't want to get lost in this Western lifestyle. Because if you forget where you come from, you forget your struggle, you forget your people, then you get lost. And so and then I would sit down and also write down, this last Sunday of the month is a special one because it's on the 31st, the last day of the month, which also uh, coincide with the, the, the time where I would plan what I want to see next month, the goal of the month, what did I achieve this month and how do I want to go forward. So That's amazing. I want to use this opportunity so that the things that, that I've used to help me build my life this far, I want you to also learn them and practice them. You never know how far they could take you. So I want to share three things today. There are three major things that set people back from moving forward. What are they? One is something mm -hmm. it's inherited. So the defeat of your parents. So for example, your parents, your ancestors, your community, the defeat that they have, they'll pass them along to you. Mm -hmm. So for example, if your dad, your mom were poor and they had debts and they had mm -hmm. problems and they were bullied before, they had traumatic experience. Mm -hmm. So those sure. issues that Will they have impact on one's life? They will impact you. They'll be, you'll carry them as part yeah. of your life. So if they were not educated and they didn't have the, the tools or the facility to put you in school, then you're going to be left alone in this world trying to move forward. So now we talk about parents. What about your community? If your community were slaves or if your community were set back or everything was on for them, they were robbed and they're on a zero level. So now you have a collective inheritance of poverty or challenges to move forward. So that's one thing that set people back. Like for, that, for example, that's when you'll find a person, oh, I'm an orphan. If my dad was here, I'm an orphan. If my mom was here, things would have been different. It's true. So if you lost your parents too, that's also a setback. Then there's the number two is systems that have been set up. Can you give an example? Like for, that, for example, that's when you'll find a person, oh, I'm an orphan. If my dad was here, I'm an orphan. If my mom was here, things would have been different. It's true. So if you lost your parents too, that's also a setback. Then there's the number two is systems that have been mm. set up in place that make it difficult for you to move forward. System. So now here you have the setbacks of the staff, the defeat of your parents, and now the system that have been set up for you not to move forward. And those systems mostly are set up by the people who have won and have taken over the system mm. just to benefit them because they don't want anyone from the bottom to just keep on coming cha -cha 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 and move to the top. True. And the third one is, is uh. your own effort. What effort are you doing as a person? What are your building motivation mm. circuit? You know, that you can use to move forward. You know, all of this stuff can be broken 
by an effort mm. that you put by yourself. And that means building motivation circuit, which means you, you motivate yourself. Manuel, uh, did you have all these setbacks? With all these setbacks, I had them. But I want to share with you mm -hmm. one major setback that I had at one time. And how did I deal with it? Yeah. How did my building motivation circuit support me to break this? So I want to share this story. Okay. One of my close relatives mm. invited me to an, a, a big gathering where yeah. there was a lot of food. Yes. I guess somebody died. Oh, this is, there was a celebration. I can't remember if somebody died, but there was a big event that happened. Yeah. And I was invited. You know the way they do things in South Sudan? When it's a big event, there is a lot of food. There is Kisra. There is Shaya. Yeah. There's all kind of food, like big food. So I was hungry that day. You know, I made sure my belly is not interfered by any food on the way. True, true. And so as I went for that, yeah. you know, because men, sometimes they bring for you a big senior. And they put everything together. Yes, yes. So at that time, we were still young. So me with a couple of other colleagues and young people, we sat in a place and they brought this big senior. Yeah. Like, and they put a lot, like, bone to dodo, I mean, big chunk of meat. Like, we were so excited. There's mula kudra, mula kombo, mula weka, and there's all other stuff, all the good, good stuff. I know. Including mula dam, right? You know, mula dam, <laughs> you know. Like you look at the food, your saliva is dropping even before you even wash your hand. <laughs> and so as we made our prayers, yeah. we were just about to eat. Mm. And an and old man, I think the father, the father of the woman who invited me mm. came. Yeah. And he's, he was in front of me and we're just about to eat. And he said, are you Jal? And I said, yes. yes. And he said, look, mm -hmm. he said the most horrible thing. Tell me, you're a thief, greedy. Hmm? What are you doing here? What are you coming to eat? Why are you in this house? Look at you. Yet you were invited. You are a son of a useless man. What are you doing here? You, are, you have no shame to come and eat this food. Sorry. Now just imagine you are here. You just like you were invited. The best, you know, like the person came in the right time. We're like. I took the right chunk of food and uh, I put yeah. it in my mouth, you know? Now, should I swallow it or should I bring it out? Yeah. For the first time, I found f that food to be so bitter. I was so broken. Everybody was looking and the person stood next to me. Sorry, now, sorry. was I crying? Should I cry? I was so angry. In our culture, mm. you don't insult somebody. Because of food. food. Yeah, yeah. And that burned me. The food became so bitter, so I, I moved with it. Yeah. And as I, I went somewhere like an avocado, and then I removed the food. So, I remember mm. walking back to where I was, where I came, because mm. I, I was broke. I didn't have money in mm. my pocket. Mm. Didn't have anything. I'm hungry. Mm. And also angry. So you're hungry. And That's angry. angry. But now this thought in my head, this person calling me useless, calling my father son of a useless, yeah. calling me uh, a greedy or shamjay, what am I doing in their house? I was excited to be there. I was hungry. I was invited. I didn't even tell the person who invited me. And so I had to walk. And in this walking, my mind mm. was telling me all the terrible things. It mm. took me on a journey. Mm. A journey about my father. It took me on a journey about my mother. Well, uh, it yeah. took me on a journey all the challenges I have. So I walked, and as I walked, I was so angry. Sorry. And I was turning myself apart. Sorry. Like the, a place where you felt it's like you've been rejected by community or family member. Yeah. But one thing I remember, mm. and I, I always have that internal built-in conversation. There is that particular person uh, in one's life that teaches him or her. Uh, who exactly taught you this? I learned that from my mom, but okay. that's a story for another time. So I started mm. speaking to myself and said, look, would I let mm. this person who just said this word mm. define my life? Yeah. Or do I do something else? That was a big setback, but it became the best thing mm. that set me on a path that you can see mm. everything that I'm building today, one of it, this part of Jenny said, look, mm. and I say to myself, 
I am, no matter what, going to succeed. And I'm going to be somebody. Not to be insulted by somebody, but I'm going to learn how to put food on my table. It doesn't matter how well, whether I'm going to go to school or whatever it is, but I am going to succeed. You know, I'm not going to let this insult destroy my life. And now there are a lot of people who said in there, big one person insulting you or disrespecting you could crush you in your life. So one that person curse would have destroyed me. Now I'm lucky. When we say some things we can inherit, I inherited building motivation circuit that res rescued me at that point and make a point that this person's yeah. words should not define me. This person's words should not crush me inside. And those, pers those words awakened something else yeah. into my life. It became like a journey of meditation. All right, uh, someone somewhere uh, who is watching this uh, video and wants to break the set bug, uh, what do you have to tell him or her? So I want to pass this on to you. Mm -hmm. What situation? What, yeah. what has any other person ever told you that crushed mm -hmm. you? And how did you come over it? And so I want to share this with you and I'm going to ask, I'm going to leave these three things again. The questions were, mm. what are the setbacks that you have in life right now? Okay. Are they inherited? Mm. Are those setbacks set up by system? I don't want to mm. talk into deep about system. Are All those right. setbacks self by personal effort? Mm. As you could see, mm. the effort here to me was mm. my building motivation circuit that rescued sure. me, sure. not to dwell on that person's life. Sure. Now I want you to look at those three things. Right, uh, any other question? So, and the other question I want to ask is, this year, what is your resolution? Mm. Because a life what? without a dream is not worth living. One of the things, mm. one of the core build motivation circuit I had in my life is to be somebody, to be part of a solution. And that holding it in my mind yeah, allow me to add value wherever I go. So my question to you is, what okay. dream do you have? And if you don't have a dream, life is not worth living. Mm. What is that thing? What is that impact you want to create that you want to bring into this world? What is that? Can you write it down? Write yes. it down in full. Yeah. Don't stop anything. So that's called vision. In the Bible they say, okay. my people will perish before mm. lack of a vision. And they say, they, there's a part that say, without a vision, mm. you're lost. So what is your vision? What is that thing? Because yeah. we're creative beings. Each one of us has got the power to create something, something that you build and bring into this world. So what is it? Maybe one of, maybe yeah. somebody say, okay, one day, uh, if you want to be a president, mm. yes, that's a, a vision. Because mm. becoming a president, probably you're going to bring new life, new thinking, new strategies, new way of doing things. What is that yeah. thing that is worth living, that is worth dying for? That no matter what people say about you, you'll still rise. Because mm. your dream is your eye. It's something that you see in your head. You feel sure. it in your entire okay. body. And you believe mm. it in your heart. Yeah. What is it? Because that is yeah. what makes life exact, exciting. Right. Uh, was it the one that saved you? It's what saved me. Okay. Also, in that journey where I was walking, the building motivation circuit that I want to be somebody mm. someday. Mm. You know, and visualizing it and being a part of a solution mm. is what gave me that. Great. Now, you may be whatever you are, okay, look, nothing is going to happen. But let me mm. tell you, nothing is more powerful than a vision. Great. And it generates luck for you. It brings people to Great. you. Once you have that vision, what that thing you want to mm. do, that one thing that you want to contribute into this yeah. world, that thing that you want to create, let me tell mm. you, it will bring people mm. to you. How? All you have to do is figure out how to get it out. So what is your vision? What is that life you want to create in the world? Second step I would ask you, what is your purpose? What is that thing that gives you joy every day? That you do, that thing that you give without mm. expectation. What is that? So that's the next things I want to ask. The third question is, what is your mm. mission? Mission guide your day-to-day -day goals. Mm. 
that guide your plans yeah. for the day, your objectives for the day. Mm. What is your plan uh, for the year? Yeah. What's your plan for the month? What's your plan for the week? What's your plan for the day? So basically, mm. structure your life so that you keep doing it slowly mm. by slowly until you get there. I really appreciate the time it took uh, from your busy schedules uh, to come and give these powerful words to your people. Uh, and if there is a last word you want to give them, uh, you can say it. And thank you so much. And thank you for joining. This is what I wanted to share with you. And if you like what I'm doing, share this with your friends. Asking you another question. The same, same question. What are the things that are setting you back? And now, the thing that set you back, your vision will hammer them on the head, boom! Because your vision is what you're gonna create and it solves so many problems. And you could spend the rest of your life because it's what make life worth living. Can you imagine? And what keeps us going in, in our struggle, in our vision, is your purpose. Because your purpose gives you joy every day. Your vision is for your mind. Your purpose is for your heart. And your mission is for your hand. Peace is you. <laughs>